Yaga. The giant yeah. is beyond bloodied. Yaga would be tired of this, and she would raise her clawed hand into the sky, while channeling the dark power of her amulet as the skies themselves begin to spiral into a maelstrom as she uses divine intervention. And she would say, Alan, I need your power! And she would attempt to summon the aspect of Alan, the giant puppet. Divine intervention rolls only. Sorry, it works only if you roll a d100 and your roll is from 1 to your cleric level. So less than 10, right? Um, okay. Yeah. I'm willing to risk this. So it's d100, right? Yes, and you need to roll from 1 to 10. Okay. Don't let me down! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I, come on, Alan! <laughs> I, I have to do this now, don't I? <laughs> yes, you fucking do! <laughs> <laughs> as she would continue channeling the dark energies, as she would part the sky and she would begin summoning the darkest, foulest, most evil entity in his sister. <laughs> the dark power calls you fall! Suddenly, the skies darken. You notice that the clouds shape themselves into a giant middle finger, which suddenly closes into the earth with tremendous speed. Then Pitmaster looks up and he's like, What the hell is that? <laughs> but before he has a chance to duck, the cloud middle finger rams into the arena globe, smashing it to pieces as the giant creature from your dreams, obviously, nightmares, appears in the center of the arena. To those of you who do not know who this creature is, I am sorry. It's a foul eldritch entity. <laughs> oh my god, I was not expecting that. <laughs> oh dear. Oh my god. Oh, wow. oh my god. The fedora chat too. Oh my god. Yes, yes. Oh my god. I want this tattooed on my body. Oh. Unleash your power. Sean. Oh my god. Alan hates me. He's gonna fucking take this out on me and all the other campaign. Is that your turn, Yaga? Yes, and I command him to absolutely fucking destroy um, the fucking ugly one. Garok. You yeah. did not mention that you're recklessly attacking. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, that's okay. The first one hits. Eh. How do I make the thing stop taking over my screen? Uh, click outside of it. Okay. Uh, that would be the end of his turn. I just want to see this thing absolutely destroy this stone storm giant. The storm giant starts its turn within the uh, moonbeam, hoping it will kill it. <laughs> oh! No! No! no. <laughs> Cancel the moonbeam! <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> it's saved. It's saved. It's saved. Yes, it's saved. saved. Yes, so only yes, half yes. damage. <laughs> Let the foul entity take it. <laughs> so not only the storm giant does not regain his lightning bolt ability, but Garok, you notice that the water within 20 feet of him suddenly becomes a little more yellow. I knew. <laughs> oh no, no. It has no other choice. <laughs> it will try to slap you twice, Garok, with his greatsword. Yeah, that's fine. So he's, gross. he's trying to keep his cool in the moment of his imminent death. I hope you're recording this. Garok, you have resistance to this damage. 
Yeah. You receive 15 from the first one and 14 from the second one, but it is halved again, I believe. Is that how it works, Yaga? Uh, he's resistant to all forms of damage, that's all it says. And I take the damage as well. Oh, so they don't stack. Um, okay, so Garok, you take... 29 points of damage. And Yaga, you also take 29 points of damage. Yeah, as if I care. The Storm Giant ends its turn, but you notice that it drops his sword and places both of his halms, hands in a praying position. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Ayago, Yago would click her fingers and she would say, Finish this. The foul entity will cast Meteor Swarm <laughs> at the Storm Giant and Yaga. Oh, why me? <laughs> I feel like that's blending, Alan. You know what you have summoned. Okay. <laughs> okay, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Did 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 the frog thing pee in the water? Is that what I heard? No, 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 no the, the storm, storm giant. giant. The, storm giant. But for the cost of summoning the foul entity, the attack attacked the storm giant and Yaga. The thing is, Yaga was more than happy to get killed by him because she knows that Alan is an entity of chaos. So, like, it does. It, who knows what he does? Yaga and the Storm Giant are forced into DC 22 Dexterity Saving Throw. Jesus Christ. My god, why do you hurt me? I think you're okay. gonna die. Don't you like what? it though? I mean, maybe a little. Do you save? Happen. No. Do you save now? No. Alright, no. well, I tried to give you good luck. I can't die though, it's fine. I should have brought my bard. <laughs> oh. Inspiration. oh no! <laughs> Yaga, does it not exceed your maximum hit points? I suppose in um, some cases, if, if you viewed it that way, um, in that perspective, <laughs> <laughs> it could possibly look like that. Yaga, you currently have 40 hit points, with your maximum being 93. Mm -hmm. According to the standard D&D rule, if the mm -hmm. damage exceeds your maximum hit points, mm -hmm. it is classified as mat's damage, mm -hmm. which means you die outright. Mm -hmm. For the creature okay. to kill you immediately, you would need to take 133 hit points. Mm -hmm. It just did. 130. <laughs> By a stroke of luck, the foul entity has spared you. My goodness. <laughs> just kidding, you're dead. I'm just waiting for it. But the storm giant is evaporated as the giant meteor destroys it with parts and chunks of his corpse <laughs> flying around in the arena. Pitmaster quits. He had enough. Yago, Yago would just collapse onto the water and float to the surface, and she would just whisper from her lips, Worth. <sighs> I don't think it's an order. What the fuck just happened? What happened to my glorious kill? The pitmaster from behind his throne just shouts out Yeah, this is the second time I've actually seen the intervention working in one of these arenas, and last time I had to rebuild it, so for that I am grateful at least. For you, uh, good, good job, I guess. <laughs> now get over here. There are some treasures that you have earned. Yaga is still just floating on the surface like a dead goldfish. <laughs> I'll use my tentacle uh, to grab Yaga. Oh, is there no more water? water? Disappeared. We'll just like, like hop off. Are yeah. you lifting me like Disney style? Yeah. Ah, uh, uh, this, this is how the arena actually started. The characters were notified that it actually changes after they agreed to fight, so that was fun. I will be like, uh, 
is the last to talk the cure. You need to be conscious now, please. <laughs> I'll cast cure wounds on you. I will also cast cure wounds on you. The pitmaster drops a bag of holding, which tears up as he does so, causing it to explode, and all the gall trinkets and bubbles from within to spill into the sands of the arena, mixing with blood and probably lost teeth. Eric just drops her and goes, "Ooh, money!" <laughs> yeah, after after. No! Yeah, you, yeah, you just uh, uh, Grok has just put her down as soon as she's healed. For today, you have earned yourself all the money that you deserve, and a rest for your last blood. Perhaps you will return to the sands one day in order to face challenges much greater and fearsome than some mere giants.